Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Bits. I am going to teach you a new subtraction strategy. Um, and this strategy is called constant difference. And I'm going to show you, this is one that we use when we're subtracting across zeros. Um, that's probably one of the only places I would use it, but it's, it's a good strategy to use when subtracting across zeros because this can get confusing if you're not understanding your place value strategy, which before we start, I'm going to review the place value strategy so you see how these two go together. So if I'm doing the constant difference, and I'm going to use my orange to regroup here, I already went ahead and used expanded form to set up my numbers. 500, the 5 is worth 500, the 0 in the tens place is worth 0, the 0 in the ones place is worth 0, and 129, the 1 is in the hundreds place, it's worth 100, the 2 is in the tens place, it's worth 20, and the 9 is in the ones place, worth 9. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now I'm going to subtract. Remember what I said, always make sure you circle your sign because these plus signs can get confusing with the place value strategy. So here I am. I have 9 and I'm trying to take 9 away from 0. I cannot take 9 away from 0. It's not possible. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can regroup and borrow something from over here. Oh my goodness, I can't because now this is still a 0. So I have to go all the way over here. So I'm going to regroup. When I'm taking something from my hundreds, I'm not just taking a 1, I'm taking a 100. So now this is going to be 400. This is 100. So now let's look. Still can't take anything from here. So I'm going to regroup again. I'm going to borrow here and I'm going to regroup this 100 because remember I took 400 plus 100 is still 500. This top number is still 500. I'm going to take a 10 out of this. In order to do that, this is now 90 and that 10 that I took out of this 100 goes over here. So let's double check that this top number's value is still worth 500. 400 plus 90 is 490 plus 10 more is 400 or excuse me is 500. So still 500 on the top. Now I can regroup. 10 minus 9 is 1. 90 minus 20 is 70. I know my basic fact of 9 minus 2 is 7. 400 minus 100 is 300, so my answer is 371. So far, so good? All right. So now when we're doing constant difference, it's kind of like the compensation strategy, except that word constant here. Constant means whatever you do to one side, you have to do the same thing to the other side. And we're trying to find the difference so the difference, whatever we're taking away from one side to make it an easier number to subtract, we have to do with the other one. We know when we're adding, it's easier to deal with zeros, with tens and hundreds and thousands. But in subtracting, you have all these zeros, then you're doing all kinds of borrowing and regrouping, and that's where a lot of people get confused. So I'm going to make 500 an easier number for me to subtract from. Okay, so to do that, I'm just taking one away from 500. If I take one away from 500, that gives me 499. Now, since this is a constant difference, the difference has to stay constant, the same between the two of them, I am also going to take one away from 129. 129 minus 1 is 128. So now here is my new subtraction problem. I'm going to go ahead and write it over here, okay, so now I have 499 minus 128, no regrouping at all, 9 is bigger than 8, 9 is bigger than 2, 4 is bigger than 1, so if you are doing the algorithm here, 9 minus 8 is 1, 9 minus 2, which is really 90 minus 20, is 7, 4 minus 1, which is really 400 minus 100, is 3. My answer is 371. That checks out. 371. That checks out. We will practice the constant different, different strategy again, but I want you to try on your own at home.
I hope you enjoyed this video and that helped you understand this number talk strategy of constant difference.